is cybersecurity still worth it in 2025? I've gone down the proverbial rabbit hole of the state of the job market in 2025, the state of artificial intelligence, the state of all cybersecurity jobs as a whole, the state of Mississippi. I'm dying in this country, it's fucked up town. And I've come to the conclusion that I'll cover at the end. <laughs> Everyone is talking about layoffs and AI taking her gerbs, how hard it is out here in the job market, and cybersecurity has the same complaints as every other tech job out there. So let's address the 800 pound gorillas in the room for what they are, big ass problems. But for every problem, there's a solution. Give up. No, if you're a quitter, then you might as well stop watching right now because working in tech is not right for you. We're innovators, we're creators, we're- what? I said you're fired. This massive spike in layoffs has brought with it mass pandemonium. The tech job market has pulled in unsuspecting college grads, self-taught three-month savants, bitter Redditors, and everyone else in between, just to spit them back out into the world under the guise of restructuring the business, which just means poor management in the form of overhiring and overloading remaining employees to maximize profits. Why do with 10 people what you can do with one? Upper management, probably. Money, the business wanted to retain their money because inflation rates were skyrocketing and the state of the U.S. economy was projected to metaphorically combust into flames. Behold the U.S. inflation rates compared to the tech layoffs since the start of COVID. Coincidence? I think not. Here we are in 2025. Inflation rates and layoffs are trending down. Things are looking up or down. With the outlook looking bright and layoffs stabilizing, as businesses have hopefully by now figured their sh** out, so there's less layoffs. Are there jobs available? Well, according to this chart on cyberseek.org, there are roughly the same amount of open positions now as there have been for the last decade on a year-to-year -year basis. Every year is roughly 500,000 open jobs. In the US, roughly 4 million globally. Um, excuse me, ghost listings? Yes, those exist, but guess what? They've always existed and they will continue to exist. Ghost listings refer to jobs that will never be filled because this. Lots of reasons. Is it annoying? Yes. Can it be stopped? No. The sooner we make our peace with reality, the sooner we can move on to the important stuff. Your competition for the real jobs. Remember those laid off employees? They're going after those jobs. And college grads. And people who have had it up to here with Sharon in HR working help desk. Oh, and guess what? People who don't live in the US at all. Remember those 500,000 jobs? Those can get eaten up real quick by the billions of people we have globally. If you ask me, I don't think we're experiencing a shortage of jobs in cybersecurity, we have a surge of awareness for cybersecurity jobs that is paired with the increase in how easy it is to apply to the jobs. People everywhere can apply to these jobs, meaning we have more people applying to cybersecurity jobs than ever before. And that growth has not been matched with an increase in demand that is quick enough to hire the sudden increase in applicants. So we inevitably will see job postings with thousands of applicants. Are all those applicants qualified? No, but filtering them out is getting complicated. So this delays hiring. If only those applicants had watched this video and actually started on the right foot when trying to become qualified by using TryHack Me, the sponsor of this video. Reading textbooks is boring. Playing video games is not. TryHack Me takes you beyond the basics. Whether you're just starting out or diving into advanced techniques, they provide structure, guided learning that actually prepares you for a cybersecurity career, learning through interactive challenges, gamification, and real world scenarios. I went through a four year degree in cybersecurity where we basically just learned the theory of cybersecurity as a whole. Did that prepare me for a security analyst or penetration? penetration testing job? No, not at all. Can TryHack Me? Yes, because TryHack Me offers practical, hands-on training with guided walkthroughs that even dear old Uncle Joe can follow. They've built a clear learning roadmap that takes you from beginner to job ready, covering real world skills like exploiting vulnerabilities, detecting threats, and using industry standard security tools, not just memorizing theory. Plus, if you're competitive like me, there's badges and leaderboards. Ooh. So stop playing WoW and start playing Try Hack Me. Now, now, if we ignore the Pandora's box that the global increased availability of technology has done to the job application process, we can focus on another problem. AI coming for our jobs, your jobs. A 
AI is new. It's sexy. It's complicated. The endless streams of posts you see saying AI is going to take over every cybersecurity job or most of them is coming from people who don't know what jobs exist in cybersecurity or what they do. AI can help automate a lot of rudimentary tasks in cybersecurity. Scans, audits, analysis, but much like every other tech positions like software engineering, the fear mongering needs to stop. It's time to stop. Especially from those who don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> it's time to stop. I challenge anyone in the comments to explain with real world examples of how AI is going to completely replace and remove any one cybersecurity role outright by listing every job responsibility they have and how AI is going to replace it. Every cybersecurity role from company to company is different. From CISOs to architects to engineers to the analysts to every role available at a mom and pop shop, small, mid to enterprise level companies. Every role is different at every company with different tasks, tools, and needs. AI is a feature that is being built into pretty much every tool these days to make every role more efficient. Just like technology adapts, so do tech roles. That's it. It's that simple. Cybersecurity is on the forefront of mainstream news now. People are flocking in droves to land that cushy remote job. But that job requires not only a deep understanding of computer systems, networking, and how to abuse both of those, but also people skills, just like any other job. You have to not only know how to do the technical side of things, but also how to work on a team, how to communicate properly, and explain what you know to other people. People. Cybersecurity roles are projected to grow because technology isn't going anywhere. The need for security is also not going anywhere. In fact, in my opinion, it's the largest growing need in tech right now. We need people interested in securing everything before someone unleashes an AI worm that takes down everything. If you're not fully interested in cybersecurity and continuously learning about evolving technologies like AI, then why are you trying to get into cybersecurity? Holy crap! So, is cybersecurity still worth it? You're asking the wrong questions. You gotta ask yourself, is cybersecurity worth it for you? Make sure you check out Try Hack Me to find out if cybersecurity is in fact still worth it for you. Oh.